breakfast this morning. I'm having one packet of the Quaker Weight Control Brown Sugar and Maple Oatmeal for four points. And I've got uh, 99 grams of banana and just three strawberries. The fruit is zero points. So four points for my oatmeal and then I have, uh, I'm on my second cup of coffee. So I'll have two points for coffee. So a total of six points for breakfast this morning. I ate my lunch today. It turned out to be a zero point lunch. I'm having one pouch of Star Kissed Reduced Sodium Tuna. Um, that is zero points. A little bit of a tomato. And a cup of the unsweetened applesauce. I don't know if you can see that or not. I think that's a great value brand, but it's also zero points. So my lunch is zero points today. Okay, for dinner I decided to have a BLT. So I used a Thomas Light Multigrain English Muffin for three points. Uh, two slices of the Smithfield bacon. That's four points. And then there's this tomato and lettuce on here. So that little sandwich is seven points. Uh, I have five points left for the day. Okay, I ended up with 20 points for today. Um, after I ate my dinner, I was still hungry. I went to Walmart because I needed to pick up a couple things and uh, I had some, a car issue. My car ran out of coolant and I know my coolant reservoir has a, a slow leak in it and it's been so hot and I've been running the air at max, you know, temperature. So I didn't, I even checked the coolant in a couple days and I got a warning light. So I couldn't get the cap off to put the coolant in so I had to get hold of my son and wait for him and while I was doing that I was still hungry so I went into Subway and that's inside of Walmart while I was in Walmart I was hungry and I was looking at things like candy and chips and donuts stuff that I don't normally eat anymore and I don't even really crave anymore but I was hungry so the only thing that really stopped me from buying a big fat old candy bar was the fact that um, I remember what I posted earlier today about how well I'd done in June and how close I am to Wonderland. And I thought, no, I'm not going to go off the rails. I'm not going to let this, you know, momentary hunger that I'm feeling derail me for the entire day or possibly the entire week. So I went into Subway and... Um, I'm thinking, well, I had enough points, I could get a bag of those baked Lay's. I decided not to do that because I had a bag of popcorn earlier for a snack. And um, I decided to get a rotisserie chicken salad, which is zero points because I didn't get cheese on it or dressing. But I did get a side of the guacamole. And it's the amount that they put on the six inch sub. So that was two points. That took me up to... Um, 20 points for the day so I was still good I it satisfied my hunger and I didn't go off the rails I still stayed on plan and uh, that that salad was uh, a nice nighttime meal for me um, I think I just didn't eat enough earlier in the day that's why I was so hungry got my car issue fixed and then I went over to my sister's for a while and came home and took the dog for another walk so uh, my day is done I uh, hope you enjoyed what I had to eat today and uh, I will be back to, before I go though I want to tell you I did go look at an apartment today and uh, I don't know I have some decisions to make I'm not sure I can get in I don't know I could get approved for this place uh, it's the, the price is right and um, it's a little smaller than what I would want but you know I can deal with small for a while but um, just locking myself into a year's lease there's something about it that I just don't quite have a good comfort level about yet and like I said I doubt I'm gonna I could get approved for it anyway I brought the application home there is an application fee and that's the thing every time I apply for a place I have to put out another application fee and uh, I don't know this apartment that I looked at won't be ready till the middle of August anyway I know if I don't jump on it it's gonna be gone they were pretty busy in the office today so uh, 
I have some decisions to make here. I'm leaving around the 17th or 18th, I think, to go to Oklahoma, and I'm going to take Route 66 out through Illinois and Missouri because I haven't been on that part of Route 66. I've been on it last summer. I was in, on it throughout o Oklahoma, Texas, and Arizona, and it was just, I had a hoot, you know, it was a fun time. Um, but this time I'm not going to have the dog with me, so I'll be able to stop at some of the cute little diners and some of the sites that I want to see um, without worrying about the dog. And uh, I couldn't do that last year. So I'm going to take my time getting out to Oklahoma. Normally I drive straight through, and it's, you know, it's a, about a day and a half to get there for me anyway. But um, I told my son I'm going to take four or five days to come out this time and just take my time and dilly-dally along Route 66 and uh, enjoy that time. And I have to be back here by the second weekend in August anyway to take care of Molly because my son's going on vacation. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the apartment didn't, it didn't, uh, it wasn't, when I walked in, I didn't feel like, oh, this is an apartment I have to have, this is home. Uh, it's just weird for me to be thinking about moving into an apartment by myself. So, I don't know. I just have some decisions to make. So, after I was so bummed out yesterday, I think yesterday I probably would have jumped at this chance. But I've had some time to think about it. And do I really want to lock myself into a lease or do I just want to take some time and travel and, and see some things that, you know, if I could lock myself in a lease, I won't be able to afford to do. So, I don't know. I'm going to think about it over the next couple of days. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed what I had to eat. Like I said, I stayed on plan, 20 points today. Uh, and I'll be back tomorrow with another What I Ate. And I'm sure it will be just as thrilling. <laughs> so, I'll see you tomorrow.